Hi, welcome to WaveGenius.com 3.1.2. This is the Elliott Wave forecast for February 7th, 2014. I'll be focusing on the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, and UPRO, and um, the bottom. On the S&P chart that I posted uh, from February 5th, 2014, yesterday at 10.20 uh, a.m., I actually was able to spot uh, the bottom when actually the moment it happened. Um, literally about a minute after uh, I posted this chart, it actually dropped down to 17.39 or 17.38, bottom and rallied. And the reason why I was able to see this is because it was pretty simple to me because uh, uh, on this chart, basically we got one, two, three, four. The fourth wave was exactly 0.32 of the third wave from 1794 to 1739. And it got it actually rallied exactly 0.382 and dropped on fifth wave. And it did truncate. As I as you can see here on my um my chart it said could be a completed zigzag in the S P with five waves and a C wave near completion. If it doesn't truncate, hold 1740 in bottom, we may see 1719 to 1735. It actually touched 1740 and rallied. And um Uh, the best case scenario I will be posting on February 6th S&P chart, but so basically on this chart I actually spotted uh, what may have been the actual bottom of this formation, and there's a really really good chance that um, I did spot the bottom, and um, it's pretty simple to me because it got A, B, and a C wave, and this right here the dead giveaway was that fourth wave, 0 0.32 exactly, and then a fifth wave that truncated in the rally that um, happened. In the, um, in the past day is what we actually got as a result. On the current S&P 30-day one-minute chart um, from February 6, 2014, um, as you can see here, I actually I called a bottom when S&P was three points away from bottoming on Wednesday, February 5th on a chart because of the simple A equals C formation. The five waves down in the C completed with a 0.32 wave 4, as you can see right here. And that was the dead giveaway of this zigzag bottom. And basically, um, the must break levels are 17.85, which would give it a 65% chance of a bottom. And that would be 0.786 of the C wave. And 17.99 would be an 80% chance of a bottom. And that's the top of the B wave. And as you can see, the A was 1850 to 1772, B was 1772 to 1798, and the C was 1798 to 1738. And it's not quite A equals C, but. Again, the dead giveaway of this was actually when I saw that 0 0.382 move exactly on 0 0.382, which is pretty crazy. I'm talking like exactly 0 0.382 and then a fifth wave and then the rally. So on the jobs number, there's, uh, again, we need, we need to break 1785, 0 0.786 of the C wave and or 1799, the top of the B wave, which give an 80% chance of the bottom. On the Dow's current 30-day, one-minute chart, you have the same exact formation uh, from the top of the A, B, and C. The wave A was 16,500 to 15,800. The B was 15,800 to 15,950 in a B wave. And the wave C was 15,950 to 15,350. And it, there wasn't a dead giveaway for like the S&P and NASDAQ, but um, the Dow may have completed the, the full A equals C zigzag bottom on the A equals C. And the first confirmation level that would break be 15,820 or 0.786 of the C wave. 15,820 would be would give it a 65% chance that we bottom. But if we break at the top of the B wave, which is a 15,950, that'd be 1.00 of the C wave, and pretty much confirm that we we bottom in a zigzag. On Nasdaq's current 30-day minute chart, we have again A equals C. Uh, the dead giveaway again was the fourth wave at 0.382 to 4041 into the fifth wave. The wave A was 4243 to 4043. The B wave was 4043 to 4138. And the C wave was 4138 to 3970. And uh, NASA completed a zigzag, which looks very standard. Not A equals C, but a nice compact ABC with the fourth wave at 0.382. Again, a dead giveaway. Um, the must break levels are 4102, which is uh, 0.786 of the C wave, 4102, and 4138, which is 1.00 of, of the C wave, and give it an 80% chance of a bottom. 
when the rally occurred on, on the S&P, um, I realized that at the end of the day, there was a wave one, wave two, and a zigzag. And a zigzag wave two and a 1.00 breakout. So I bought the UPRO at a stop with 81, at 81.81, 2,500 shares. After the zigzag completed, A equals C, right at uh, uh, 81.25 and rallied above 1.00 at 81, uh, excuse me, 80, 82. So I knew that there was a good chance of a third wave, so I bought right at the, the, the breakout and then um, right at 81.81. 81, and um, I was looking for a big three, and we actually got it. And my target was 85.29, and I said, uh, like if it got to 84.50 to 85.29, before the jobs number, I'd sell, and I sold at 84.53. Uh, the reason why I sold at 84.53 because it was really close to 1.618, and there's the jobs number tomorrow. And um, I don't know how they're going to react to it, so I sold at 